cow, eat a cow, cause it's good for you. Eat a cow, eat a cow, it's a thing that goes. Howdy everybody, Colorado Biker again. And today I had an appointment down in Denver this morning. And after my appointment on my way home, I stopped off at Shamrock Foods. Now, if you look in my other videos, you'll see that I did wholesale food preps. That's Shamrock Foods. And I stopped there on my way home today uh, down in Denver. I stopped off and decided to stock up the freezer and the fridge and everything and for well and and get all the meats and go to a few other shops to get stuff I needed. But Shamrock is really good for meat um, because they have it at a lot lower price than you can get anywhere else. So I got about 110 pounds of meat. I got all this stuff here. We got pork all through here. We got pork, 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 pork. We got beef and then we also have beef and then we have chicken. Um, this is 110 pounds of meat and I got it for about 240, I think it's $247 for 110 pounds of meat. Now these are primals and just rough cuts. Uh, we got ground beef here, we got a brisket, we have, uh, this is all pork, these are pork shoulder, this is what's called pork cushion. Um, we have the beef, uh, beef uh, flank, this is like good for brisket stuff like that and then we got 40 pounds of chicken breast and this is a this is a whole chicken breast these things are huge too so that's 40 pounds of chicken breast each one of these is about a pound each or a little bit less so anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through all this and i'm going to portion it out and i am going to portion it and then wrap it with plastic date it and then i'm going to put it in the freezer and then in the fridge too so and also as part of this i got the smoker outside going so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put stuff on the smoker so i'm going to take two pork shoulders right here and those are whole pork shoulders let me move this over oh that's heavy oh boy it's heavy all right so i got pork shoulder here and this is, how you, this is how I do pulled pork. There we go. Just going to take that. And this is two whole shoulders. And this came... And this came in at about $1.19 a pound. So, and that's a lot of meat. This is, I think, 15 pounds. So it's $15. Well, $16, $17. But that is a lot of meat. That's a lot of pulled pork. So I'm going to grab my salt and pepper. And we're going to do, and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use the quick salt and pepper. So I'm just going to take this right here. All right. Big old chunks. Now, this is a lot cheaper than you'll get at the grocery store for pork shoulder a lot cheaper okay now it's a wet bleach cloth so i can wipe my hands and kind of sterilize them as i go just a few drops of bleach and some hot water on the towel okay so now we're just going to salt and pepper this just plain old kosher salt and we're doing pulled pork for dinner Actually, I got a lamb roast I'm going to throw in there, too. All right. we go beautiful now we're gonna go put this out on the smoker and let that cook while I do the rest and here's the smoker just to smoking away so we're gonna start off there move my water over I keep
keeps it nice and humid in there. Oh, forgot the pepper. salt and pepper and that's it for now so we're gonna close that up I'm gonna leave that out here because I'm gonna come out and put some more on it later secure the lid on this check the temperature put it up to 225 and I'm just gonna let that go all day so it's about noon now and it'll be ready about seven eight o'clock tonight so i actually don't need that till later all right all right where is it there it is Fill it and do this again. That's a little bottle of bleach, a little dropper attachment on it. Just give it a quick bring it through there. There we go, sterilizer towel. So that's just salt. Okay, next is we are going to portion and we're going to portion this out so the first step is to open them up in the sink again because they do still have a lot of the the liquid in them so yeah this is 18 almost 20 pounds 18 almost 19 pounds of pork so yeah I think the other one was about the same so that's about 20 pounds of meat right there so this is only about $20 for all this what I'm gonna do cut through it this one doesn't have a whole lot of liquid in it like the other one there we go actually that one's just ready to go as is so Okay, bleach towel, sterilizer towel, and then a dry clean towel. All right, so take the plastic wrap and we're gonna pull it out. This is one of those big rolls you get at Costco. So we're gonna take it, ugh, put it on there. That's a lot of meat. That's a good 10 pounder right there. And then we're gonna wrap it, but we're gonna wrap it numerous times. There we go. And we're gonna alternate directions when we wrap it too. Cause that's so big it doesn't even cover the whole thing. So once again, pull it out. go and this is gonna go in the freezer there we go gonna wrap it a couple more times because it is a big piece of meat do one last final wrap This one once again alternate directions there we go make sure it seals up good pull this last one pretty tight there we go there it's 10 pounds of pork shoulder so next thing I'm gonna do 
is we are going to write what it is. and the date. Okay, there we go. So that way I know what it is and when I got it. And then, it's going straight into the freezer. That's a lot of meat. There we go. So, time for another barbecue. <coughs> so we got brisket, I'm just gonna leave that whole and that's going in the deep freeze downstairs. So what I'm gonna do is, since we already know what it is, just condensation on that, there we go. I'm still gonna put three, 28, 19. And this way I can rotate my stock. I've got an old, fro or I got an older frozen one down in the freezer downstairs. So I'm gonna use that one first. So, 328, 19. So that way I'm always rotating the meat. So that way I use the oldest first out of the deep freeze. So I'll put, date it. That's always a good thing to do is put a date on it. Okay? So we got that. So that's a brisket. And that's a good, what, oh, 13 and a half pound brisket. And then we got beef. Uh, we have, this is this is 10 pounds of just ground beef. So this is, uh, I believe, was it 87? Something like that, 81.19. So 81% meat, 19% fat. So this is good burger meat, good stuff. Just good general uh, ground beef. Just plain old ground beef, but it's 10 pounds. Um, and this was $15, $1.50 a pound. So that's nothing. That's a lot cheaper than you get it at the grocery store for. Um, this is a little higher grade too. It's more of a restaurant grade. So, and we got the pork cushion. They're small pieces. They're like pork shoulder, but they're smaller. Um, and then we have some beef lifter blades. These are kind of like what you would make fajitas out of or something like that. And then we got more pork cushion. And then of course the chicken, which I'm gonna go through and well, what I do, it's cheaper to buy this, the just the whole double breast, just like that. And I'm just going to cut it down the middle and then wrap them, wrap them up in two. But that's that's like a pound. That's like almost two pounds right there. And this is 40 pounds. There is a whole bunch of chicken in there. That's 40 pounds of chicken breast, double breast, just like that. Big, huge breast. Some skin on, most of the skin on, which is fine. Um, I can pull it off if I need it. But still, this was still. Uh, just over a dollar a pound is about a dollar twenty nine a pound for breasts So that is a lot cheaper than you'll find in any grocery store. So I'm gonna wrap up finish wrapping up this other uh, pork and We'll be done with the video. So I'm gonna get to wrapping and Just to show you what I do when I go down to uh, Shamrock foods and buy all of the meat and put it all away. So Okay, everybody. Well, here it is. We are all done. Took about two hours. Well, about an hour and a half. And we have the pork cushion. We have the brisket, which I didn't do anything with. 17 packages of two chicken breasts, giant chicken breasts each. Pork shoulder, that one's over there. We also have all the beef and we have the beef lifter. It's all been done as well as what we have going outside. Of course, I ended up with a few bits and bobs here that were not quite enough to package. So, of course, where do they go? They go out on the smoker. Look at that. We got beef, we got pork, we got lamb. I even got a lamb, a leg of lamb on the smoker. So we got all that. So there's only one step left. And I neglected to mention this. And this is the sterilizer that I had. And I've been using this throughout the entire time. There's that rag I told you about. And since I was doing chicken and beef and pork and everything, and to avoid cross-contaminating the rest of my house and all my kitchen, I'm going to use hot water as hot as I can get it. There you go. Rinse that out good. Gonna use hot water. Ow. Okay, I'm going to use a strong bleach solution. Okay. 
about 20 drops. Those are really small drops, so it's about 10 regular drops. And some hot water, some nice steamy hot water. There we go. And I'm going to use this to wipe down all the surfaces that I touched in the kitchen, including the wrap, the container for that, and I'm going to do the cutting boards. I'll do that after I move all the meats. And then I'm also going to do the sinks. I'm going to scrub them and then use the bleach solution on them as well just to make sure it is all cleaned up. So that way I've got it and we're not gonna cross contaminate anything. So, but this is a lot of meat. This is not um, a short term thing. This is basically about two and a half, three months worth of meat that we got. And if you look at your budget, you'll see that you spend the same, if not more, probably a lot more on about two and a half, three months supply of just buying meat at the grocery store. So this is a much cheaper way to do it. This is all going in the deep freezer and the freezer upstairs. So we have tons of meat for the smoker and for everything else too. So that's it. Thanks again. Back to the video. That's it for now. Thank you very much. And until next time, keep on prepping. Eat steak, eat steak, eat a big old steer. Eat steak, eat steak, do we have one here? Eat beef, eat beef, it's a mighty good food. It's a great A meal when I'm in.